The next sign that you are trapped in debt and struggling financially is if you neglect to repair, to service, or to maintain uh, assets in your possession that require service, maintenance, or repair. Chances are very high that you're trapped in debt. Look, um, there are assets that we own. There are certain uh, equipment, tools, machinery that we have that require to be regularly serviced, regularly repaired, regularly um, maintained in a particular way. And, and so if you find yourself having neglected to service, to repair, to maintain such machinery, such equipment, such tools, chances are very high that you are trapped in debt and struggling financially. Um, look at, look at uh, someone who is driving. In other words, I'm asking you, when was the last time you gave your car the service it requires? There are very many people who are driving on our roads, yet their cars have not gone for service. There's a guy I met at some point, and um, he was doing his fourth round um, without service, right? And, and he would be required to do service after every 5,000 kilometers. So I met him having done 5, 10, 15, and he was now nearing 20. You see, this car carries your life. The only reason as to why you can carry your life, all right, carry yourself in this car that is not serviced, that is not taken care of, all right, and risk your life, the only explanation is because you are not capable. It's because you would have wished, but there are other needs competing for the money that probably you have. That is the only logical explanation that um, would make you ride your life in a car that that is not properly serviced, okay? In other words, I'm also asking you, for how long has your car been, uh, been driving with that bumper having uh, that big dent uh, on the side? How long? <laughs> but let me get closer home. You know, when I'm talking about cars, the guys probably who are not affected by cars are thinking that this indicator does not apply to them. Right, let me get closer home. I'm also asking you, let me move closer to the screen. I'm asking you, for how long has your phone, I'm trying to speak softly, for how long has your phone had that cracked screen? Yes. <laughs> you guys thought I would, I would spare you. You see, we look at our phones more than we look at anything else until our children have started admiring and wishing that they became phones so that we could, can give them the attention that we give our phones. The truth is there is nothing interesting in looking at a cracked screen very many times in a day. Nothing interesting, nothing, nothing. Truth be told, if you had chance, if you had ability, you would have replaced the screen or replaced the phone altogether. But because you have entertained looking at the cracked uh, screen for ages, <laughs> Chances are very high that you're struggling financially and you're trapped in debt. That is the only logical explanation as to why you can have uh, such a thing that you are looking at constantly and, and you, you can't have it repaired, you can't have it uh, serviced, you can't have it maintained the way it's supposed to be, then chances are high that you're struggling and you're trapped in debt. Right? And, and my usual disclaimer applies that in the course of these conversations, of course, I have to pinch you, not once, not twice. But when I pinch you, don't feel, don't take it personal, take it as a wake-up call. 